Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, it's market outlook time. Let's take a look at this market and what I see upcoming for this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. Of course, today, Monday at 6 p.m. UK, the road to the final promo is done. Uh, these last, what is it? It's been 10 days technically of this promo. The first set was in packs for seven days. The second set was in packs for like three days. So um, we are done with the road to the final promotion. All the SBCs that go with it. Uh, technically not all those are gone. If we still have a few of them left inside uh, the store that will kind of bleed over into this next week in the, into the road to the final section. Uh, the William goes away one day, 18 hours. Uh, the player pick between Idrissa Gay and Angelino is there for a little while longer. Papu Gomez is there for a while. And Konate is actually still in the store for a while as well. So these SBCs will be around for the next, you know, during this week. But after that, they will be expiring. But the cards that are in packs and more content will be done for this promo. So that leaves us with a question. What is happening next on this market? Because we are kind of into limbo time right now between the end of this road to the final promotion and Black Friday. Black Friday is uh, November 29th. November 29th is the date of Black Friday. And I've seen a few people maybe questioning, are we actually going to get something before Black Friday? Are they going to run a promo from this Friday until next Friday? A typical one week promo? That I don't know about. We'll have to wait until later in the week. But I do know a few things. The Bundesliga Player of the Month SBC, I think that's going to be coming early in the week this week. Now, I finally think I figured out why we haven't got that SBC yet. And I think it's because uh, all these guys that were projected to win Player of the Month, specifically Serge Gnabry, or maybe it's Lewandowski, even Klosterman. I don't know like who's up in the running for this. Um, I know that Gnabry is in the voting, and I know that he was one of the most popular players. And since there's a high fan vote in the uh, Bundesliga Player of the Month voting system for the Player of the Month, I do think it's very possible that Gnabry wins. And since he will be returning from international duty early this week, I think you might see this SBC either Monday or Tuesday, or maybe even Wednesday. But early in the first half of this week, I do think we will see the Bundesliga Player of the Month SBC. It kind of dawned on me this weekend that that's probably why we're not getting this SBC, because that player actually has to accept the award for the award to be given out. So, you know, maybe Bayern Munich has the S the, the actual award there. Maybe it just has to be presented to him. Then we'll get the SBC. So uh, that's why I think there's been a delay on this, because this should have came out on Friday. But then remembering there was an international break, it makes sense. That's why it didn't come out over the weekend. So I do expect to get that SBC this week. Um, you know, this this week of FIFA is probably just going to be a lot of filler content in terms of SBCs. Um, obviously, we still have icon swaps that are going on if you guys are still doing those like I am. Objectives this week, uh, Mbabu is going to be going away in 18 hours. So at 6 p.m. UK, he is going to be gone. Um, maybe we get an update. When do these? Okay, so these go away in four days. Maybe we get some sort of uh, objective, kind of like bail story or something. Maybe a simple objective that they add in at some point this week. Um, and then a couple SBCs that I could see upcoming. Of course, we talked about the uh, Play of the Month Bundesliga. I do see that coming. I think this week we could get a, uh, a flashback card as well. We still have the Team of the Week upgrade SBC. It's going to be here until Tuesday. So this is going to be out and around and people are going to be, you know, putting some coins into it until Tuesday. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, that SBC is still going to be there. And I do think that we could see a league SBC this week. It's been a little while since we had a league SBC. Um, of course, we've had League One. We have had the Ch uh, Chinese League and Bundesliga. So I would say if we got another league, it seems to me like something like EFL Championship um, would be a perfect next league SBC. Another not lower tier league, but not one of the main five leagues. So I would see that as the next uh, league SBC possibility. Um, another one of those this week. So yeah, maybe a flashback SBC. We haven't had one of those since Mascherano, uh, if I remember correctly. And that was like, what, two weeks ago? Two, a little over two weeks ago. So it's been a while for one of those. And um, yeah, it just seems that's kind of about time for a flashback for another league SBC. And that's kind of content that they usually put out on a non-promo week. We usually get those types of SBCs on a non-promo week. And you know, they haven't put out a pack as, uh, supply SBC for a while, man. There's no pain, no gain. I still haven't done it yet. It's a three player pack. Maybe I'll do it tonight on stream or something, but um, we still haven't got a lot of SBCs uh, in terms of the pack supply that we were getting. I mean, it's obvious now that they wanted to keep these road to the final cards very 
very rare. And I actually want to talk about a few of them right now. Are these guys going to be investable out of packs? What is going to happen to these card prices as they do leave packs um, Monday at 6 p.m. UK? I still think a lot of these cards are very overpriced. I mean, if we go over here and look at both Road to the Final teams, I think these guys both fall into the same boat. These cards are even less supplied than the first set because they were in packs three days and have a stupid low pack weight. I can't even, I've, I've been watching a decent amount of streams over the weekend. Don't even think I've seen one person pack one of these cards. These cards are going to be very rare. They're going to fluctuate a lot. Um, but I would still be very careful with them. I think if you're going for a quick flip, um, or a ride out of packs. Some of these guys are already up already right now after the weekend league sell-off. Like Torea is 196 at the moment. Um, squad battle rewards has passed. The the price might be different when you're seeing this video. 176 last night. He's risen up all day. Kind of looks like to me that maybe pe people are investing in these cards because they know they're so rare. Your Reese is up like 20k honestly parties up like 20k so a lot of these cards are up a little bit i would just be careful okay i would be very very careful with these cards even the first set um a lot of, like militao is like almost 600k 597 allen's up 385 some of these guys are up a decent amount i would just be very very careful with these cards i think ea has purposely made them very rare at the moment and I think that these are going to come back into packs at some point. I do think it's very possible for for Black Friday or some sort of uh, last year, how they would always do the, the best of team of the weeks or best of special cards. They would throw other special cards back into packs. I think we're going to see that this year, especially on Black Friday. So if you have these cards and they're up and you're in the money and it's not a card that you think you're going to use for the rest of the year on FIFA, um, then I would probably take the coins on it, especially if you just invested for pure profit making, um, you know, just to make profit on some of these cards. Then I would probably say sometime soon I would get rid of these cards, man, because just the way that the market is this week, um, we've had a lot of coins drained off the market from the SBCs that have come out this week. And I'm going to, I tweeted this out earlier today and this is just, oh my gosh, up 9%. Look at this. This just goes to show you how many people are doing SBCs because obviously right now we have the Konate SBC, which requires about 100,000 coins. It requires some 84s, some 83s, and the Team of the Week SBC. So they really kind of focused in on the 82 to 85 rated cards for those SBCs and look what 84s have done. Yesterday, Konate went up. He was, or Konate came out, 84s went up here, 171 points. Today, they kind of dropped back down. We got no content today at 6 p.m. UK. Look what happened after that. People went out and they did SBCs. That is what this tells me right here. These cards are going up in price. The index 83 and index 84 are what I'm currently looking at on Footbin. Uh, index 83 is back down a little bit, but look at the jump that it had today after 6 p.m. UK when people realized we didn't get any content. I mean, I think, I don't know about you guys, but if you're playing Weekend League or if you're playing uh, Rivals during the week, Take a look out for this Konate card because it seems to me like people went out and they did SBCs today. There's plenty of SBCs for them to do in the store at the moment. Konate, Papu Gomez, Willian, this road to their first final card. Even some of these SBCs, Player of the Months, like Toko Akambi and Thiago Silva, require some higher rated cards. So, or, you know, some SBC fodder, 83s, 84s, 85s. So that's why I think you saw those go up. And of course, this SBC. This SBC is one of the big, biggest coin-sucking SBCs inside of FIFA Ultimate Team that we will see all year, especially released during Black Friday time. This is, so they put this out early this year, which is interesting. Um, but it was obvious this week they wanted to suck some coins, and I see that trend continuing. As I mentioned, I think this week we could see a road to the, or a uh, flashback SBC and another um, league SBC because that's going to suck coins off of the game just in time for a Black Friday promo where EA wants a lot of people to open packs um, and stuff like that. So of course, Black Friday is the thing that we have our sights set on and we're interested in that in the future, in the coming weeks or so. I don't know what's going to happen this week though. Some people think we might have a promo at the end of the week, as I mentioned before. I'm not too fond or too keen of that. I'm not really sure that I see that happening, to be honest. But it is a possibility. So when we think about Thursday flips this week, um, if you're flipping any of those road to the final cards that I mentioned, that would that might be a great time to get out of those um, because I do kind of see the market as a whole this week probably trending downwards um, in terms of this this index right now is up because of the inflation for the 83s and 84s. As you see a lot of these cards down here, 
some of them at least um, are just, you know, Dimitri Payet up a lot because of SBCs, 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 and stuff like that. And a lot of these cards over here on the top down in price right now, you just see a lot of weekend league sell-off happening. Dembele, Griezmann, Bale, Rashford, Lloris, Umtiti, Fabinho, Aubameyang. A lot of gold cards are down. A lot of stuff is down. Icons are down. People are getting ready for Black Friday. Um, so if you still have some of those cards, I would say right now might just be a decent time to get out. I said it in yesterday's video as well. Now just might be a decent time to get out, get your coins, um, and just be liquid and get ready for whatever is going to be coming this week. Rocket Sheep team, I've been encouraging people to do that just because we are getting closer and closer to that time frame of the year when stuff is just getting way too cheap and people are all focused on um, the um, the Black Friday panic and buying their teams back after Black Friday, so they're selling before. One last thing that I want to look at. It's not Road to the Finals. It is actually Team of the Week number nine. I want to look at some of these cards. Wow, Pereira's up now. Alex Tellez is up now. Watch these cards closely over the first couple of days. If we get a League SBC on Monday or Tuesday that's decently cheap, you might see a dip in some of these prices, but these cards are not very supplied at all at the moment. It's a normal Team of the Week. What I've noticed in past weeks is that when we have a Team of the Week that comes out that does not get supplied except for on the weekend with like maybe a little bit of pack supply or um just like squad battle rewards and a normal pack supply no like sbcs during the week pack sbcs the team of the week cards rise a bunch out of packs even like one or two days after so like thursday and friday after these cards go out of packs i think these guys are going to rise if we don't get any sbcs on monday tuesday so um, that's one thing that I do want to watch possibly a Tuesday night investment scenario just in case we get some SBCs in those first two days with pack supply Ricardo Pereira would be one of my favorites um, Maybe Chesney Robertson. Yes, Tellez. Yes, Nangolan. Yes um, And Van de Beek actually. Yes, if you can get him around like 12k. I think that's uh, Fantastic a lot of these guys are going to be investable for quick flips into this weekend league Tellez is going to be a massive riser in my opinion 113k right now as he sits if you can get him close to 100,000 coins maybe like 105k i see this as a, a bang investment because a lot of people like this card brazilian left back uh he is a fantastic card in the game so i'm a big fan of him if you can get him around 100,000 coins i am a big fan of that Tellez card as a little bit of a cheeky investment out of packs as you can see He's about 110 right now. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, trading wise this week, um, we're just going to have to roll with the punches. Whatever kind of content that EA puts out, we'll have to roll with those punches. Icon flipping is still going to be a very popular way and a very beneficial way to trade. And I've been having very good luck with informs with chem styles. You know, we do chem style trading all the time with uh, popular players like defenders with shadows or attackers with hunters. I'm having very, very good luck right now trading with some of these defenders with the shadow chem styles. Informs though, inform defenders and midfielders with the shadow chem style, Wijnaldum. Um, I just looked there again at uh, Fabinho. He's one of the good guys. I made a lot of coins off this weekend. And because people are still buying out these cards, maybe even Digne as well would be another one. Just a lot of these cards that are very popular, that are used in a lot of people's teams, um, people are still paying the big bucks for them with the chem style. Since chem styles are still so inflated, wow, Digne with a shadow is down a lot right now. Usually he's like 66, 67,000 coins. There's even one right there at 60K flat. So yeah, this is a great way to trade. You find undercuts all the time because like, Digne's normal uh, inform right now is selling for 58,000 coins. If he was actually selling for 65, where he usually is, I would buy that one at 60 with the shadow, list it for like 66 or 67. And uh, there's a nice little chunk of profit right there. You can do that over and over and over. I'll put a video out later this week focusing on some of those methods as well, just the inform flipping and trading with some of those cards, because that's going to be some of the ways we can make coins in this type of market where a lot of stuff is going down. But if we can actually flip on the downward trend, it's, it's very possible, especially with chem styles and out of packs informs um, on the market. I would definitely tell you guys about that. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week. You know, not a lot of planned content from EA, but we'll see what happens. Of course, a couple of SBCs, it'll still be lingering into the week. Willian, Papu Gomez, and, and the likes. So uh, maybe a little bit more people are doing those cards. I don't think you're going to see the 83s or 84s get down to like a viable range just yet for those guys who like to stock the club, which we all like to do, right? Especially when a Team of the Week SBC comes out. 
and those 83s go from 1,000 coins to 3K. We always like that. Um, so that'll be something that we definitely look into before uh, Black Friday starts here soon as well. So wanted to let you guys know about that. Wait for these SBCs to go before we start thinking about looking at the 83s and the 84s again in this game. All right, boys, that's your market outlook for the week. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.